Hi there, YouTube. Okay, this is going to be my introduction video to the Five Waiting Wombs collaboration channel. I'm super, super excited um, that I was chosen to be the fifth member and just really, really eager to get the ball rolling and to hopefully start uh, providing information and answering questions and it should be really, really fun. So really excited to get started. Um, but just to give you a little bit of information about me, uh, first off, my name is Amy. I am 25 years old. Uh, my screen name is Turtle Ames. Uh, and the reason why I chose Turtle Ames as my um, name for my Trying to Conceive channel on YouTube is because um, my husband's nickname is Turtle and my nickname is Ames. And since we're in the middle of trying to create a Turtle Ames, I thought it would be appropriate. Uh, my husband's name is Jason, and he's 28 years old. Uh, together we don't have children yet, but we do have two pets who are like our children for the time being. Uh, we have Puka, uh, who's a Siamese. Did I say cats or did I say pets? And anyway, we have two cats. <laughs> um, Puka, who's our Siamese, she's four years old. Um, she is a loner and will only come to you, uh, and if you dare go to her, mm -mm, she ain't having any of that. <laughs> um, and Sika, who's a baby, she's three years old. Uh, she's just a tabby, um, but she's very playful. Um, we call her graceful because she is the exact opposite of that. She'll run into a wall if she's going for something. She just charges. Um, but there are children uh, for the time being. Uh, we got married. Jason and I, not my cats, um, he and Jason got married um, in July of 2008. Uh, however, we've been together since September 2003. Uh, and we've been living together since September 2004. Um, since we started living together, we haven't been using any form of birth control. And so we figured that there was going to be an underlying issue. Uh, we weren't sure at the time what it was, uh, but we were pretty sure that we were going to have difficulty conceiving. So a month before the wedding, I started charting my cycle, and uh, we've been trying to conceive consistently since the wedding last July. We did conceive um, in October of 2008 um, by huge surprise to us. Um, however, at five weeks, I did miscarry, um, and we have not gotten pregnant since then. Um, so we went to the doctor after ten months of trying, and um, we did a regular pap on me. I was told that I had a tilted uterus, uh, but that doesn't really affect infertility. Um, it just will explain my bad period cramps, which was nice to have an explanation for that. Um, and we did blood work and everything turned out normal for me. However, we did a semen analysis on my husband and uh, it came to show that he has a low sperm count. So we did another um, sperm analysis um, about a month and a half ago. Um, and while his count did go up, uh, we learned that his morphology is very low, very low morphology. Um, so we were a little bit devastated <laughs> about that, but we're pu pulling through. Um, right now what we're doing um, is waiting for a referral for me uh, to the gynecologist. Um, just one second here. Okay, I thought somebody might be coming in and interrupting my intro introduction video. Anyways. Uh, waiting for a referral to the gynecologist um, so that I can have my HSG done uh, to see if there's any blockages in my tubes and um, anything of that nature. However, uh, we're thinking that the problem is more than likely just to do with my husband uh, because I have been charting for so long and I pretty much have a typical cycle. Um, my ovulation day does change sometimes as early as cycle day 11 to as late as cycle day 18. But, um, sorry, I fixed my computer. Um, but, you know, my luteal phase is always 13, 14 days long. So, I mean, I'm pretty consistent um, with my cycle. So, we were told um, that more than likely what we will be expecting is IVF uh, with the assistance of ICSI. Um, 
ICSI, where they actually inject the sperm into the egg um, to conceive. Um, now, this is all down the road a little bit. We're still in the very, very early stages of diagnosing um, because, like I said, I haven't even gone in for an HSG yet, so we're going to wait for that. Um, and that's what we're doing at the moment. We're in the process of waiting and um, just seeing where we go from there. I'm just, I've got my notes up here and I just want to be sure that I'm not missing anything. Okay, so a little bit about myself. Um, I'm really a huge nerd at heart. Um, I love my books. I love reading um, historical biographies. Um, really anything to do with British monarchy I am in love with. Um, Elizabeth I, um, I love her and anything written about her, or movies about her even, I love. Um, also, I love my Harry Potter, love my Twilight, and I uh, love my Lord of the Rings, and yeah, huge, huge nerd, but I don't care. Um, right now I'm getting into crocheting. Um, I'm starting really easy on a scarf, but we'll see how it goes and see if I get any better <laughs> as time goes on, but we're starting super, super easy. Um, so, um, our plan of treatment for uh, the diagnosis that we have so far on my husband with his um, lower sperm count and very low morphology is uh, we're taking fertile aid for men, um, which is supposed to increase motility and count. Um, while it doesn't do anything for morphology, increasing his count uh, will help in the long run, so we're doing that. Also, we've completely cut out any alcohol. Um, not to say that we did a lot of drinking before, um, maybe once or every month or once every two months, we'd go out with some friends and just have a couple of drinks, you know, not the major, but we've cut out alcohol completely. Um, since we had our first sperm analysis, and it did increase the count um, by a couple million, so that was nice, from 12 million to 16.8 million. So that was really nice. So, but that's all we're doing at the moment. Um, I'm super excited about this collaboration channel and getting it going, and I really think that in any research that I do for any of you that, that have questions or, or need some help, I really think that it'll be helping myself in the process with getting as much information as possible because I really think that you cannot have enough information. Getting information is the key to taking control of your fertility and, and really getting through the process. And I, I also kind of think it helps with the stress um, because, you know, trying to conceive can be very stressful, especially if you've been going at it for, for any length of time. And I really find that researching um, really helps with the stress. So I'm going to leave the introduction at that, and I'm really excited to get this ball rolling, and talk to you ladies soon. All right, bye.